finally, you know? He'd been messing around getting to stuff that I really, I really fuck around with. He got with like some weird, absurd news story. Oh, I'm in that, I like that. Mm -hmm. Ads, I feel very strongly about ads. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now, he got a video about weapons. Did you say weapons? Did you just try to pull that out of the sheath for like 15 seconds off camera? Like that didn't happen. That's a really badass knife actually. Damn, I forgot how cool that was. I was gonna do like the badass thing where you like lick, lick the it. knife and then I was like, but what if I like actually cut myself? Then we go to the emergency room. Don't, <laughs> don't, do, don't actually do that. Also for legal purposes, these are props, but they're not. This is a blacksmith knife. Even though it's smaller, it's actually way better made than that one. That one's just mad cool. Uh, so anyways, yeah, we're here about, well, about weapons. I think it's going to be absurd hearing what an Australian thinks about weapons because, <laughs> because they don't have any. Are you fucking serious? I will take this shit away from you. Put it away. I didn't think it was gonna be that sharp. It's a knife! Sorry for yelling. Your knife is not that sharp, so I thought this knife was not that sharp. If I tried to stab someone with your knife, they'd be like, bing. <laughs> the TikTok trend. But, nope. if, but, if, but if I stab them with my knife, they'd be like, meh. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, don't break into our house, we'll kill you. Uh, so, anyways, weapons, internet historian. I know it's been a while. It's actually only been like a week or so since it's been out. Two or weeks. two or three. Fuck yourself. Almost three weeks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> me and my wife's anniversary is coming up. That's a fun, exciting thing. We have been a while, uh, together for a while. And um, if you disrespect me on that uh, time, I'll stab you with a weapon. So I, yeah, I don't know where, I mean, yeah, I don't know, it's weapons period. I don't know what the fuck is gonna go with it. I hope he also has a large weapon collection, but not like a suspicious one where it's like a bunch of handguns. Like a cool one where it's a bunch of knives. Like ours. Like ours. Thanks for joining us and sticking just, with the relationship all these years. I know it's it taxing on me. I know it's been a taxing time on myself. Let's do it, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Three, one, play. Weapons. Am I good with a weapon? Hey! Yes. Am I carrying weapons on me? Always. Pistols oh at God. sunset, the bullets don't reach that far. Aha, uh -huh, uh. check out this weapon I just made. Stay still. <laughs> Predator missiles. <gasps> They're working in league with the torpedoes. Tactical airstrike. You son of a bitch. Right. Why, you what's an air bitch. supposed to do? <laughs> All this and more on this episode of In the Battlefield. Oh, Get it? You Sorry got if I sound weird. It's because I went to the Asian uh, supermarket guy? today. Yeah. Because we bought some AstroTurf. Fake grass. Yeah, I didn't want to take care of it. So we AstroTurfed some of the backyard, right? Mm -hmm. It looks like shit. Anyway, <laughs> the neighbor's cat has started shitting on yeah. the AstroTurf. Yeah. And now they're not going to stop. Because once they shit once, they shit once forever. But you're gonna say they shit twice. And yeah, I, like, I know. Okay. I, I was really gonna. I was trying. I was I, ready. I, I was said ready something for it. else. What am I gonna? I can't just kill the neighbor's cat. I'll, I don't think I can get away with that. I didn't want to get into it with the neighbors either. Uh, excuse me, do you know you've got a cat and it shits on? Like you can't police a cat in the same way that you can a dog. That's right. The cats are a law unto themselves. <laughs> so I went to the Chinese supermarket, right? Because obviously the thing to do is to buy about three liters of chili oil and then fill a weed sprayer with it and then just start spraying the whole garden in chili oil to the point where it just kind of turns red and then it <laughs> starts trying to take a shit and then it goes oh god it turns the grass red or it turns the shit red and you're hoping that this is gonna like <laughs> scare the cat it's like, it's something's it's going wrong here i need to talk to a doctor <laughs> so you know the grass is looking a lot redder than it usually does wait this is the astro turf so yeah. you essentially just dyed fake grass red yeah Sir. pretty much and you know the whole Sir. place reeks of chili oil and if the so cat sad. shits there anyway then boy is he gonna have won this war could you not have just <laughs> let the shitting continue you and, uh... No, it's an outrageous <laughs> amount of shit. He's yeah. taking like three shits a day. Like he doesn't <laughs> even keep it to the sort of back of the property where you wouldn't notice it. It's like right on the front. That's the first thing a guest would see. And, and then we've got a cat. And so people think, oh, you guys are just fucking dirty. Why don't you clean up after? So no, you don't. Un <sighs> so anyway, that's <laughs> it's just hopeless. He just quits. No, listen, never mind. You won't. Dude, you don't understand how relatable this is because we have neighborhood cats so much so the dr d named one laverne 
and it comes and rams its head into our fucking door every time she comes over because, you know, it lives here now for some reason. But when they shit, they shit in, like, the nice, like, little part. We have, like, three yeah. shrubs. Yep. They shit in the shrubs. And then we have people that come every month to, like, clean up the shrubs. They didn't take the shit with them. <laughs> it's great. You know? They, we don't have that. Just, like, shit out. Just shit out. Imagine That's if they okay. were just, like, shitting on our rocks. I'd have probably removed it by now. <laughs> the reason I went to the Asian supermarket and while I was there there was some sour candy. Ooh, ooh, that's the full story of why I'm eating sour candy. <laughs> <laughs> So you've seen the gay bomb, right? Uh, I've heard of it. I'm fascinated yeah. by it naturally because it was it was theoretical, right? Yes. Oh <laughs> I love yeah. That. Simon yeah, yeah, Fisher yeah. has put <laughs> the rainbow. Yeah. I think the bomb. chief idea uh, behind it was bomb? okay. Yeah. You make your enemy uninhibited uh -huh. and extremely aroused, uh -huh. and then <laughs> they are more likely in a non-combat situation to start doing it with each other. Uh, what? It wouldn't yeah. work in a fight. No one's going to go, oh, I'm just too horny to fight. Then they just start <laughs> running at their own men in the other direction. But maybe it's a permanent change. You've got your wife back home and your kids. What if you come home gay? Sorry, honey. I've got to <laughs> be my true self now. This might really backfire because it might make the opposing army like even more bonded with one another. Now they're just like, I've got to yes. save my dude because like... <laughs> He's great. Oh, I love him. You read too many books. <laughs> That's got to be a story about a gay soldier called Band of Brothers. Oh, there's definitely the, one. Right. I, I've never read it. But, but yeah. it's got to exist. But yeah, it'll turn every army into... What are the, what's that movie we watched with the girl who's actually super old and she's like... A combat oh, lady. Oh, fucking the, the old guard. The old guard. Yeah. And then we would lose every war because that gay couple killed a lot of people. Oh, yeah. Mercilessly. And then read poetry after. Like, they weren't sad. <laughs> Super elite gay <laughs> army. It's just you and me. Skin on skin. Stripped to the waist. <laughs> That are just so loyal to one another that they are unstoppable. Just like rolling in rainbow <laughs> camouflage. Everybody's just like super afraid of them. <laughs> are you okay? Yeah. Are, are you all right? Go! What about gun? America! Go! We will shoot you or each other. Doesn't really matter. Somebody. Somebody's getting shot. Somebody needs to get shot. Plaxical burst, put it in the waistband of my sweats. You know, the sweat band that is so supportive. I'll put a gun in it and then shoot myself in the leg. I thought you were going to say in the cock. And he I did. Like, Plexico Burger shot himself. He's a professional. Who did what? Plexico, dude. He was a football His name player. Is what? Plexico. The more you know, Plexico. My love, what is his real name? His name is. Google it. His name is Plexico. <laughs> Doc, I swear. I swear to you. You cannot. Just this, is a, this is a true story. Listen to this story, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> A football player mm -hmm. above 6'3 yeah. goes to a, a nightclub mm -hmm. with a gun in the band of his sweatpants. But who, what nightclub lets you in with sweatpants? Exactly. First, There's first so many ball. layers here. How'd you get in? Why'd you put a gun there and not in a holster? Like so many questions. Then shoots himself in the leg with it. But not his penis. And his name is Plexico. Somehow misses his cock by at least an inch. I don't know if that part is true, but... <laughs> What if it was actually his penis and they just said leg? They just said leg. Yeah, yeah. And his name is Plexico. His like, name, that's all his real. His name is not Plexico for Google, real. Google it. His no mother... Looked at a baby before <laughs> it was famous and went, Plexico. It rolls off the tongue. <laughs> Look, okay. I don't hold with respectability politics. Right, like, okay, yeah. And I course. feel like you should be able to name your kid uh -huh. like whatever you know and yeah. like that doesn't like that doesn't <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't like mean anything about like yeah, no, keep going uh -huh. but plexico but like, you're going up there you're going up and up and up but bring it back down his name is plexico yes or no yes or no to plexico you were like <laughs> <laughs> life baby turn it this way so it's on camera bam Knife, baby. <laughs> you know, rock a bye, Plexico. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, what? Who looks at a baby? That's like looking at a baby and naming him Harold. Who looks at a baby and names them that? 
I'm upset. <laughs> Plexico was like, he like made that name up, right? His mom did not name him Plexico. Okay. All right, you ready? We don't have to look this up. I would rather. <laughs> there we go. It has an A in it. There we go. Plexico? There we go. It has an A in it. I didn't even know. <laughs> I didn't even know. His name is Plaxico. <laughs> Look at how fucking dick he is. Play the, oh my play the god. 6'5. Play the video. Just play the video. I'm so Shot upset. himself. Okay. Yeah. It happened. It's real. I'm by the so way. upset. Just so you know, it's real. All right. Yes. Have you ever fired a gun? Yeah, only a rifle. Yeah, I thought it was pretty neat. When I was in America, I made a beeline for the gun range. Yeah. Went full hog. I wanted to see what it was like. And uh, yeah, it yeah. turns out. Yeah, it really made me feel like a man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. People do they, say yeah. that, though, you know, a bit dismissively. But there must be something absolutely instinctual about holding a weapon. You will sort of notice it when you, if you ever go for a hike and you pick up a stick that just feels mm -hmm. really well weighted uh, to hold beat a bear and you to use it like a weapon. I do find myself like naturally it. carrying that around and just sort of feeling good about it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's the ultimate tool. Yeah, I think there's something about that. In the past, the ones that pick up a pretty good stick and just walk around with it survive a lot more. <laughs> Absolutely. They're so loud Absolutely. though. Oh God, I can't stand how Absolutely. This loud they are. Oh. Silence is a ban in most states, I think. No, and it seems to me like yeah. the reason that that yeah, legislation has no, come into place is because everybody watches the movies and thinks that a gun with a silencer on it sounds like... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah like it's in Hitman. Are they but just it's actually just there so you don't go fucking deaf. <laughs> yeah. It's still <laughs> really <laughs> loud. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. I suppose oh. you wouldn't be able to recognize that sound so regularly. No. I was about to say, actually, what it all it does is stop it from echoing as far. Mm -hmm. So, like, like when they show you shooting at like the front of a base, the entire base knows you're shooting everywhere. It goes extremely far, blocks. Mm -hmm. But a suppressor actually only goes, like, right the fuck there. Mm -hmm. The people in the room know you're shooting. Right. You know, but you wouldn't know across the street. Can you silence a shotgun? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, uh, adds a oh, degree Lord. of style to it. The, the silencer is a bit like uh, <laughs> adding a mustache to a gun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This it does make it look hilarious. a lot cooler. You gotta admit that much. Like, oh, that lame. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> that's, like, immediately cool. <laughs> da, da, da. Like, I even <laughs> think he becomes more handsome <laughs> yeah, between shots, good. you know? Ooh. So Play it again. I'm going to close my eyes and just oh this is a welcome to America's favorite game show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> silenced <laughs> or unsilenced. <laughs> right, right, right. All right. Well, I was definitely that was silenced. Yeah. Oh, it that sounded like no, but I it couldn't really silenced. tell. It was okay, a how about this one? Gun. That is definitely not silenced. That is, it that was is silenced. Full hog. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Silenced. Okay, all four of those were silenced. Okay. Ah, oh, you, you tricked me. <laughs> I did. You correctly guessed that it was behind a pillar. That's a bloody good one, isn't it? Because that wouldn't silence anything. I mean, it might make it quieter for the person who's getting shot. <laughs> <laughs> Why the hell else would that work? I'm just going to put the pillow on so it doesn't hurt your ears. <laughs> Thank you. Pillow silencer. 120.7. I like the idea that off screen is just like someone tied to a chair. <laughs> yeah. so now we use the pillow. All right, Jerry. I'm Jerry? <laughs> so he's got tied it up. Oh, yeah. no. What's the deal with airplane peanuts? Oh, uh, yeah. But it only went up to 102 decibels. Okay, on so 20.7. CNN goes fully Samuel. This is the AR 15. Right. A lot of people will buy this just because it's cool. Why else would you buy a gun? Is it illegal Honestly, to look cool now? Is <laughs> that what they're saying? <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I really cool dislike now. the sort of moralistic tone there of just like, some people just buy this gun to be cool. <laughs> yeah, of course. Isn't there the reason for half the things we do? <laughs> yes. You buy a slightly nicer car, or you cut your hair a certain way. Did you just do that haircut to look cool? <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, no. <laughs> the defining characteristic of the AR-15 is the speed and power of the bullet. <laughs> that whole defining feature of a bullet is that they go fast and are powerful. Yeah, well, there's no good if it bounces right off you. I do like, who fired this bullet? <laughs> yeah. Like, what the hell happened here? It looks like a classic, like, GoldenEye N64 bullet hole as well. It's, it's classic. You fire too many and these ones start disappearing. <laughs> Oh, I ordinary things. Let's do gun lessons oh, from people God. who also don't know much about oh, guns. Yes. Oh, I love I know it. A oh, little yes. bit. Do you know what the difference is between automatic, semi-automatic, pump action? Pump action is the one that where you've got to sort of like jerk the gun off before it'll fire again. <laughs> semi-automatic's more like do 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 
Yep, yep. Okay. One trigger pull, one bullet. An automatic is no, like. No, wait, finish this real quick. Do, 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 do. Yeah, you hold it down and it goes all over <laughs> the place. That's what I wanted to hear. Go ahead. The difference between semi automatic and automatic is one of them gets me killed in Destiny and Call of Duty, and mm -hmm. the other one mm -hmm. does not. Yeah. Okay. I I'm like very that. good at the spray and pray mm -hmm. with guns, not. Anything else. Do, you, do you know how to do any gun noises from any of the games that you play? No. I watched this video where this guy was like talking away about doing gun noises. <laughs> that was perfect. That was actually perfect. That was really if good. I wanted to fire this on full semi automatic, all I do is keep firing. Now, I won't probably. <laughs> What's that mean? <laughs> quick, quick translate that. How do they both look like Tim Cook? <laughs> Who the fuck is Tim Cook? I don't know. He looks like Tim Cook and Mike Pence had a baby. Oh, That's no. a good one. <laughs> That's sweet. That's rude. I don't like the way I can see the outline of his nipple still <laughs> shirt. I kind of feel like Why for the news, it doesn't like, this. like I don't. He doesn't deserve. You find it erotic. Uneven. Not focus. Uneven. Yeah. What I find distracting is that one seems yeah, much lower than the other. Say, yeah, what's up with that? They fucking put the angle up, bro. If I was here when I watched this, I am suing. Don't you show the angles of my nipples to the world? Too many, too many people have seen this. It's a weapon designed to inflict maximum damage. It's a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> it's so a gun. Watch a gun. foreign people. Watch this. It's hilarious. It's a whole political thing that they're doing. Like that means something to Americans. Everything they just said. Mm. We have opinions on either side of that. How much damage an AR-15 should do is like a thing that right. we debate about. And they're like, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> Not enough people are using Nord. So much of their private data is out in the open. I have to show everyone. Wide Nord Max. This is Spider Man fucking Just do a long to your plan. Pirating <laughs> movies. I call the police. Store his history. That guy is gay. <laughs> He's not buying that for his dog. <laughs> are you sure it's COVID? Start wrong building. Chinese spy. I knew he was spreading COVID. He just went in there with that COVID patient, no mask on. I'm just tired of being fine. Over his mouth, I mean. Right. Cream for that rash, Sarah. Bitch. Bleeding, oh God. <laughs> up, up, and away. Oh, oh, oh. Looks like I'm too late to save you hundreds of dollars with region specific pricing what? on Dead. funerals. <gasps> oh, God. Why? I couldn't let you expose my secret that I actually enjoy playing Field of Tanks mobile. <laughs> this is too ass. Goodbye. Is this too ass? Just use Nord, nobody would have known. What the fuck? Will Nord survive? <laughs> Will the sponsorship contract be <laughs> with you? Find out next time on... <laughs> also, you get a huge deal of two-year plan, plus four free extra oh months, God. yay! Nord.com slash incognito. And... How do you fucking explain this to people? You don't. You just move on. <laughs> Kids when I was candy. a kid, there was this brand of sour candy called Toxic Waste. Oh, we the, just you tried get those. that in Australia. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Came in the little tub. I love that stuff. Oh, they man. I've me. been addicted to sour candy since I can I do love remember. Rabbits. And of course, you know, the more that you're told that you're not allowed something, the more alluring mm, it becomes. Like I was racist. about five or six. <laughs> I'd sneak some change from the kitchen counter. I would take a bit of a side route on the way home and go to the old dairy. And sometimes they would have this sour candy. Candy. And it was uh, five cents a piece, Ooh. and uh, I would go in there and I'd buy like a dollar's worth. I'd stuff it all down the way home. Oh, One day, damn. I got like five bucks worth of coins. That gave you like 50 Jesus. pieces, and 50 pieces is way too many to finish by the time you get home. So I had like half a bag full. Um, I'm gonna have to hide this somehow. I'll just hide it under my <laughs> yeah. shirt. And I walked into the house thinking, no one's gonna be the wiser. And my sister, the first thing she saw, she's like, what's under your shirt? <laughs> I'm like, oh, nothing. And I go running to my 
room. And maybe it was my mom and my dad. I don't know. They come running after. They go, what was that? What do you got? What do you got? I then like ran out and then I just ran to the neighbors. It was like being caught with drugs. And I knew this neighbor kid. And I was like, you got to take this. You got to take this. And he takes it and he hides it into the cushion and the couch in the lounge. And then I walk out the door of the neighbor's place. Nothing. It wasn't anything. Still sweating from the sound. Exactly. As well. like, when I was fine. a kid, my contraband was a violin horror movies and stuff. Oh, and God. I remember one time yeah, no. my dad drove me to a sleepover <laughs> and I wanted to bring some horror movies that I had squirreled away in my room. This is great. Your mum's cleaning your room. She like, looks on your bed and instead of like porno mags, it's, it's just Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, in fact, that did eventually <laughs> happen. <laughs> and my dad got given a stern talk to it. <laughs> all right, ordinary things. Let me tell you all about the birds and bees. Oh, no. oh gee, pa. Oh, shucks. I don't know nothing about all that business. Then you take her boyfriend's face oh. and you put it on your face and that's when you run into the room. Possibly inspired by watching Midnight Express. Um, I <laughs> what like, on got earth the DVDs and like taped them to my torso <laughs> under my t-shirt and I was just sat next <laughs> to my guy on about. the drive there. So did you get caught? No, I didn't. But, uh, oh, well, <laughs> isn't there a big square outline on your shirt? I think I put a, like a jumper on as well. Oh. If I recall actually, I remember my dad saying like, aren't you warm in that? I think it was summer and already sweating. Like, what if he catches me with the Kill Bill Volume 2 <laughs> under my shirt? Oh, so did you watch the movie at the place? I don't think people were too impressed. Right. <laughs> Do you want to watch this? Some guy gets his head cut off. No, man. Like, just want to talk yeah. about girls and stuff. <laughs> we're just trying to have a good time. <laughs> yeah. oh, I was hoping I could ruin all your nights. <laughs> that, is, that is a really good story, dude. So, like... Uh, you know I was like a really big reader yeah. when I was younger. Oh my god. Do not tell me a book equivalent of this story. Please. <laughs> so like Baby. Was... <laughs> Please. So like I was not allowed to read romance novels. Uh-huh. But like my mom read a bunch of romance novels. Uh-huh. So I used to like steal her romance novels to read them. Anyway, I got grounded from reading. And this unrelated to the romance novel thing. Loser. I got grounded from reading. I was it was when my parents put me on chair restriction. Yeah, it's abuse, right. I took one of my mom's romance novels and I hid it behind the toilet because we had like a thing. <laughs> And so, like, there was, like, a space. There's like, a little right. group. And I don't know. For some reason, my dad saw it. I don't know how. Right. But he saw it. I had to think really quickly. And I took it out. And I subbed it out with a not-romance novel uh, that was the same uh, color. Uh, <laughs> and I was like... Fucking sneak it around. I was like, it wasn't a romance novel. It was this book. And I almost got away with it. But my dad had taken a picture. What kind of fucking Sherlock Holmes move is that? I think that's a robot clip. <laughs> I think that's what that is. Well, because one, I was already not supposed to be reading, so he took the picture to be like, oh, you hit... What's the picture for? He <laughs> saw it. He's the parent. You don't need any more evidence than, yes, I am the parent and I saw it. Like, what kind of fucking interrogation did you have to go through as a child? Uh, How bad were you that they needed to show you evidence of things that you did? I was definitely, like, I just lied and li I would just lie and lie and lie until, like, I was caught. <laughs> just like, I'm, I would just keep going. this is the, I am trumping this situation. No, I didn't. <laughs> I wasn't there. It has your name on it. I don't write my name. That's the most incredible, that got, that, that's actually blowing my mind. <laughs> <laughs> that he had to take a... That blows my mind. I did not grow from a uh, military family. Military family, you don't even need evidence. You need suspicion. Well, I think the photo was for my mom. Whatever. So he could show my mom. Whatever. But you yeah. can't run it back now. I heard the story. But yeah, so I like... That's I took cute. the romance novel out. I hid it. I replaced it with like an Anna Green Gables book. And I was... I hid the romance novel. I'm not allowed to read this. Like, I'm not allowed to read anything because I'm grounded from reading, but if I'm going to get caught for reading, I really don't want to get caught reading a fucking romance novel. Oh, my God. You are so exhausting. <laughs> oh, Jesus. People get a fake foot. They lose it in a... Bar brawl of some kind. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so right. they give you a fake foot. So what would you do if you could have, like, any sort of fake foot become a weapon what would the weapon be well how about it looks like a normal foot mm. but then i take it off and it's just like one big titanium spike yeah you could like twist it off and replace it with other things like a snooker cue or um you know one of those like grabbers okay so this isn't really a weapon this is a multi-tool yeah i think so you I want would... a, like a swiss army foot yeah a multi-tool multi stop 
putting food in my mouth while we watch this video, please. Are, should we stop here? No, Are you done? No. The foot multi tool isn't enough to keep you entertained. I was in, I was watching the video. Quick, foot weapon. What do you got? A storage compartment for snacks. Okay. Obviously mortar. The way that it's shaped is a foot with a little hole. You put the little thing in there and oh, it shoots off. Obviously a mortar. Fucking well. just shoot it off, bro. Also Hell yeah. sword. Just <laughs> yeah. You know can... how like okay, so you know how like. Sometimes somebody like will have a knife in their shoe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like that, but it's, it's my the whole, whole leg. leg. But the thing is, if you lean over at all, it gets stuck in the ground. Eh, now you're stuck. You know, now you're, you're literally pegged into the floor. <laughs> Remember, swab the poop deck. So maybe, I can't. I keep scratching it up. Maybe a retractable one then. Okay, maybe retractable. Foot. That would be quite good. You're caught in the wilderness or whatever, and then you've just got a whole bunch of tools in there. Yeah. You know, oh, no problem. Let me start a fight. Just take a I bite. would probably have, um, it would be a gun for sure. This is when you're in the just woods, is it? We'll see. Well, I'm next to you right now. Just bite the fucking candy, you loser. I do not want any. Please stop forcing it on my face. Uh, Get the fuck away. Wife. This is why I say no eating the videos. This is romantic. Baby. It's, it's dripping. I've got my multi-tool and I've just like twisted my axe attachment on and I'm just like kicking woods and I'm kicking trees down. Yeah, I'll shoot you. <laughs> and then I'll take your multi-tool. You won't have the twisty bit. Yeah, you've got it like a key. <laughs> exactly. It'll click out of one. The one oh, of them is like a wheel noise. powered by an engine that if I just balance on that one wheel, I can like go around like Rosie and the Jetsons. Oh shit, that so would be good. Like those wheelie yeah, shoes, like, but it's like diesel. <laughs> yeah. So stupid. Ooh, you know who's really good at that? As a Dr. D. Oh yeah, Dr. D loves Man, playing with burgers. Really? They had this whole thing going where I could like pretend like my wife is dead for some reason. Yeah. Don't know why. It was hilarious. But it was a thing for a while. Yeah. Not really hilarious, but it was a thing because it was way too accurate for me to be funny. It was funny. <laughs> Of, you know, someone who's completely normal and well adjusted. I have thought about if you were to kill someone, like what would be the best way to get away with it? Uh -huh. Yeah. You know, people could have these elaborate plans of kill him and all like burn the body in the bath. Mm. Nah, nah. The best way is just to find them on the street, let off two rounds, and just walk away, hood up. Yeah. No fuss, no muss. I think you're right. Mm. Right. Let's plan a murder. Brilliant. Because I don't understand how it's done in the modern day and someone gets away with mm. it. Yeah. Let's say yeah. I'm trying to kill you, right? Cool. Yeah. So first I have to find your address. I'd have to go to England. So now there's records of yeah. me searching your address. Mm -hmm. There's records of me being in the country. Right. I then have to get to your place. I rent a car or I take an Uber and then all along that route are cameras that are tracking the license plate of the car I'm in. And I've got a phone on me and that's being yeah. constantly picked up on yeah. every cell tower. Yeah, mm -hmm. the first thing you want to do is leave your phone at home. If you're Ubering to your murder, <laughs> I think like... <laughs> yeah. Let's say I Uber within five kilometers of your place okay. and then I just start walking to your place the whole route is going to have cameras along mm -hmm. it I get to your place and what do I do I like knock on the door and then you answer it and then I have to go like bang <laughs> at the door everybody sees look at this dude no okay <laughs> nope. that means I need to break into your place what do you do from there what, this is what become... editor did he hire that likes to look at that dude I don't, I don't know it's been so difficult I, I say you gotta smash the window in and make it look like a robbery gone okay. wrong bang uh, on the way out I steal the DVD <laughs> real quick and just put them in my shirt. Then I, I guess you just sort of take off running. It'll still be a robbery gone wrong. And so they'll still start tracking these cameras. Yeah. They'll just start following the line. We got him. Yeah. I think you're putting too much faith in the CCTV I mean, to system. Be fair, yes. I think it is quite fallible. They're not everywhere. Right. Anyway, point is, it's impossible ordinary. Murder things. is impossible. It cannot be done. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. Hey. I just think, you know, if aliens are real, that just completely changes the way everyone sees the, the world. It'd be amazing. Maybe. What, what do you reckon the alien weapon would be? Oh. Well, the anal probe is the classic. When combined <laughs> with the gay bomb, it stops being a that weapon. It's not a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, a medical analytical tool. That's a good point. <laughs> do you reckon they clean the probe between analyzing oh, humans? So. Depends what the aliens are doing with the probe. What are, are, like, are they just m measuring butthole <laughs> circumference <laughs> for their files? Yeah, what <laughs> would the point of what anal could be done there that wouldn't just be easily done with some sort of alien pill or an x-ray i reckon they pull out that probe go this is fucking disgusting and then they just shoot <laughs> <everyone up here. laughs> they go another one they're all gross <laughs> this is gross every time <laughs> i don't know what the fuck i'm saying this is horrible you so think it'd be just as much mouth probing as there would be hopefully not with the same probe <laughs>
That's so Old good. Old weapons. If you were going into a medieval battle, mm. what's your choice? We, you know, they're all on a wall. A sword, duh. Dude, obviously a bludgeoning weapon. Like a mace or Dude, something? Dude, everybody wants fucking swords and stuff? Look at your fucking bell run, bro. It's over for you. Which Not if do you I pick? chop your Which head off. Dog, dog, hit somebody in the chest with all that shit on, you sitting the fuck down. <laughs> and I was just I'm going to town. Yeah, then your weapon's my weapon. Telling you, man. I should probably hey, shoot a bow and arrow. I've heard a side that's pretty. A bow and arrow? Yeah. yeah. You should. Yeah. I am, st I am staying out of the fray. Yeah. You should. You should be in the back. Ready your bows? Cool. You shoot in the air and go. So now I'm going home. I did my job. Nobody can tell me otherwise. I was here for the whole fight. So we, you know, they're all on a wall. Which do you pick? Which way, Western man? I've heard a scythe is pretty useless in battle. Absolutely. A mace, though. I think a mace the is good stuff. Right. Right. It's like, it can bludgeon, it's sharp, it's easy to use. I don't particularly want any of these, to be honest. That's picky. I wouldn't go with um, a scythe. I'm actually not here for the battle. Just the, <laughs> the battlefield is just in need of a bit of a hey. So if I could have any weapon, it would just be like this. Sword mm -hmm. and shield, I, I mean, it's a classic for a reason. Let's say you and me, one on one, right? Oh, right. So I've got the spear, you've got the shield and sword. Who do you reckon wins? Uh, spear. I reckon me. Reckon. I've got to bide my time and, and get you to stick the right, spear yeah. into the I'll shield, do... and then I'm just cutting your spear in Once half. you throw your spear, you're mm -hmm. dead. Dude, spears are so overpowered, it's not even no funny. Way. No they way. A dude, actually? No way. Oh my god. A what? sword you know how heavy a shield is? I'm just saying, once you throw your spear, then what? Who's You're triggering me. I thought you were joking the first time. Nobody throws the spear. Yes they do. No no, they're pokey spears, not throwy spears. What's the difference? Javelins are the throwy spears. Oh. Spears are they're called javelins specifically. They're built for throwing. You have them on like a little backpack. And then you fucking just hop around, just fucking yeet my people, and then uh -huh. run away, all goofy like. Okay. Yeah, nobody uses those. The, the, the Greeks use them. Everybody's like, that's fucking stupid. Then a couple guys in Africa, like, pinned some people on some walls with them. And they were like, that was cool, but I'm never doing that again. That's cool. And then we moved on. Yeah. Yeah, spears are like, fucking, yeah, yeah. Okay, but that's also useless, because once you poke with it, yeah. all I have to do is. Hey, dude, they. Hey, I'm just saying. Maybe. But if you could cut a spear in half anyways, why are you fighting with weapons? Just use your bare hands and rip my fucking head off. No, I'm talking about doing that with a weapon, not with my bare hands. <laughs> what is wrong with you? This fucking karate chop, the fucking spear in I am half. obviously not saying... That's not what I was saying, but it's funny that you think that that's what I was saying. Oh my god. Let's move on. Oh, That's good. Done. I don't think you're blocking anything with that I shield. I don't think so oh, either. Yeah, I think I'm poking at you, poking at you, and you're moving your shield around, and then I managed to get just yeah. a little bit yeah. behind your shield at one point, and, and then I like press in. You can't get my fingers, though. That's for you. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> Well, let's see, like, spear versus sword. Uh, spear versus sword. Brilliant. Oh, yeah, those we can guys. Put some money on. All right. yeah. Spears are so oh, fucking oh, see, strong, dude. Yeah, he's, They're he's so fucking him. strong. He's going to try and stick him good. I fought mud crabs more fearsome than oh, you. I like okay. the spin technique. Mm. Like, so you don't know what, when it's coming. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, the, the, the charge Ooh, nice is the thing. Mm. As good. soon as the spear guy has... It was at this moment yeah. that he knew. Yeah, he fucked it's up. Over, Got dog. you to stop within it spear distance. Yes. It's game over. Spear wins. Mm. The key is not to be spooked by mm. the spear. <laughs> yeah, don't fear the spear. Charge in like a motherfucker. So he's half dressed like a bank robber <laughs> and half dressed like a beekeeper. <laughs> yeah, now that you pointed that out, yeah. Give me all your bees. <laughs> Where's the queen? <laughs> fear the sting of bee man. <laughs> Just back on Mason, good. what do you think of this? Morning star. Oh, I like that. I saw like salmonella. Uh -huh. That just made me sad. Yeah, he's gone forever. He hates us, but I love him. Or rather, his fans hate us, but we love him still. Uh, yeah, that would fuck you up pretty good. You know what the problem cool. is right, with this over. weapon? It's got so, so many points, cool. and they're like, yeah. if you hit someone right in the head with it in the <gasps> heat of battle, it is liable to get yeah. stuck, and yeah. then you're in the situation oh, where you're like trying to Absolutely. pull it out of someone's head, and then someone puts something yeah. in your head. That'd be a bummer to clean, too. Like, this yeah. thing would not go in the dishwasher very well at all. <laughs> What's the, like, really weak version of this? Like, you could have this ball, but instead of spikes, you've got those, like, finger <laughs> nail <laughs> Cheetos. That'd be pretty good. I'm trying to think of like a nerf version oh, of the morning yeah. star. Mm. I like the idea of this. If it was much, much smaller, and it was half the, the size of a golf uh -huh. ball, and it had these tiny little prongs, <laughs> it would be exceptional 
for serving olives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I like oh that. Right? You, you could take one of these and then you just put like a dog to on it. <laughs> and then you just chase people around the battlefield because no one wants to get the dog shit on them, you know? <laughs> that's true. You'll be feared on the battlefield. It's like when you can go to prison. Obviously, I'm not strong. I don't have the option of like going up to the biggest um, guy in there and punching them. That wouldn't go well. No. Your only other option is to just act like the craziest fucker possible. I have shit on a stick. <laughs> Utterly unpredictable. Terrifying human being. If you spill... You know, oh, no. This is funny to me. If you spill your apple juice right. over the front of your shirt, can you just pop back to your cell and throw on another no. shirt? Surely. Or are you like, Surely. oh, that's my only one, and then you have to walk around. Yeah, it's the yeah. guy with apple juice yeah. on the front <laughs> of your shirt. They must have a wardrobe. They must have a place where they put their pants and socks and toothbrush shivs and all sorts. That's a weapon. Brushes. The toothbrush. You don't have you don't have to do this. Shiv. Prison shivs. Is that like a little Darringer pistol? Sergeant Hal Birchfield. Oh, everyone had those mustaches back in the when are they coming back? I Never. can't really grow Jesus a mustache God. very well, so I'd Jesus. be a bit upset if that happened. Really? I have a mustache, Let but me... it's a bit of a Howard Hughes <laughs> sort of like pencil <laughs> mustaches. Hold on. <laughs> Let me have a look at this. Oh yeah. Look at this. See what I mean? I've got what I like to call the anti-Hitler. <laughs> I can't grow it in the middle. <laughs> I don't know if this is <laughs> racist. <laughs> okay, could continue. Oh, have you ever noticed? How people from Eastern Europe uh -huh. tend to have that sort of facial hair? The same sort of facial hair that you do? To be honest, I can't say I have noticed that, but I'm I'm Why willing to go ahead with it. Serbian man. All these men have uh, thick mustaches, so I'm not sure your theory. So it was racist as fuck. What is happening? It's just completely wrong. What is happening? Slavic oh. man. <laughs> yeah, no, it's falling apart real quick. I'm amazed that you've typed in Slavic man and none of them are squatting. You know what? This theory sucks. Wow. These people all have regular have moustaches. Beautiful mustaches. I don't know why you proposed it, to be honest. It's kind of racial and it's not true. <laughs> While we're on racist things, I've got one more. Go on. Yeah, please. Please. Because they're terrible. Continue. <laughs> have you ever noticed mm -hmm. that Asian people, right. when they park their car, <laughs> always park their car Please. backwards into the car space? That <laughs> I cannot say that I've spent enough about? time observing other about, people sorry. parking. That Here's alone. There's like eight Asian people in this neighborhood. Like they can all back their cars superbly. I have a hypothesis. <laughs> Right? I live near a pretty Asian suburb. Okay. Right, I love it. I love going down there, shopping there all the uh -huh. time. Where you normally see people parking, they just, you know, drive forward straight in. But for some reason, every time the local residents here park, they reverse in. And I'm thinking, like, is it something they are culturally taught that has some sort of advantage? Okay, in an emergency, you can drive out faster. Is that what it's about? Hmm. Okay. Is it like, right. oh, I want to show off my car? Here, look at the front. Much nicer. That's interesting. I'm going to go out on a limb and say it is representative mm -hmm. of a culture that forward plans. Ordinary oh. things, bigot confirmed. Wow. <laughs> if you're done <laughs> with your racist tirade, ordinary things, I'd like to move back oh onto the, the topic at hand. I do have an Asian Just because you have an story. Asian friend does not make you not friend. Wait. Have you ever been I to Cambodia? Yeah. No, I haven't. When I was there back in the day, I got in their taxi and the guy was like, oh, you're new here? And mm. I was like, yeah, yeah, obviously. <laughs> and then he said, do you want to go to the firing range? And I was like, yes. <laughs> you can use a machine gun. You can use uh -oh. some handguns. I was like, that's sick. And then he went up a level and was just like, if you've got 200 American dollars, you can even fire a rocket launcher at a cow. Oh, no way. Yeah. You said yes, right? <laughs> I will admit that the option did intrigue you me. You didn't fucking do that? Dude, I would have a hundred percent shot of yeah. I would have yes, yeah, so would have blown up Bambi. I don't fucking care. I'd have missed, obviously. Why are you like this? I'd have sh shot around it. Camera's dying. It's okay. Do you get to keep shooting till it dies, or all right? But I was pretty broke back then, so That's what saved me. <laughs> and also it would have been right. a bit. Cow, I'm allowed to kill a couple. No, you're not. <laughs> it's like if you raise a kid, you could. Saying. Gross, and maybe I would have felt Saying. a bit ashamed of myself. Don't get me wrong, I went. I didn't use the rocket launcher, but I did hock a grenade, <gasps> which was fun. That's cool. Cow killer confirmed. Yeah. Oh, you threw a grenade? What was that yeah. like? Yeah, it was great. <laughs> was it spooky? I was scared. The guy, he could tell. Oh, God, this nervous Englishman is going <laughs> to yeah. drop it into his shoe or something. 
Now I it's... also saw the pen where they had all the sheep and cows. Oh, no, <laughs> their little nervous faces. I'd be nervous that, like, the pen wouldn't want to come out that easily, and so I'd hold it in one hand and then pull the pin, but then I'd also pull oh, the grenade good, out of my hand at the same <laughs> yes. time. Yeah. If you were to just play football with a grenade, would it ever explode as long as the pin didn't come out? Yes. I think not, right. because That's the correct. whole point, if I recall, the pin is creating a chemical reaction with some, like, a piece of metal that something's connecting. Yeah. Okay, I've got a better question. You pulled out the pin, right? Yeah. Do you think you would be capable of pulling that out with your teeth? No. Really? It wasn't quite like a key of a car, but it was like there was a bit more of a mechanism Same to it. Time. Yeah, ah, interesting. Because I've seen that with, like, you know, there's Tom Cruise at the end you of... Should know. Can I generate seven to ten pounds of force with my mouth? Are you sucking on it? Like, what, in what fucking universe you have to suck the fucking grenade pin <laughs> out that wouldn't also kill you immediately <laughs> after? Like, run me down. So my arms are tied to my chest in a cross formation. Grenade by my head. Do I suck it out or do I just lay here forever? In 100% of those scenarios, you get your head blown up. So. But do I also blow up the people who kidnap me? I'm assuming yes. You're under the seat of their chair and they are sitting on you as a fetish thing that I don't understand. So you blow their ass up literally. <laughs> And as half of them is staring at the other half of them before they die, they go, damn, I shouldn't have kept those grenades under my seat. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew she had the sucking power of a Hoover? <laughs> I'm dead now. <laughs> oh, no. That movie that's on the screen oh, right man. now, and he, he's got like a mouthful of grenade pins at the end. Yeah. And he, ah, ha, ha, he also has no teeth. the big bad. And I was always wondering like, oh, I bet that's not that easy to they do. They are amazing. I didn't realize you had the expertise. <laughs> if I'm completely honest, I, I didn't really feel like much of expertise. I could only afford one. It's funny, um, <laughs> the guy who's editing this, he's ex-army. Oh, really? So he's probably like laughing at us right now. Because I'm sure he's that's got me. all sorts yep. of experience with like grenades and tanks and shit. <laughs> tanks. I'd, I'd like to drive a tank. just move on? It's like, yep, that's me. I hate it. That would, I mean, wherever oh, lets me fuck. do that, that would be sweet. You can't drive one over a cow. Would you go back to Cambodia now? Yes, if only for the breakfast. The Cambodian breakfast is exceptional. Okay. Really? Why? It's like pork and rice, oh, but my God, the fire. pork is absolutely yeah, delicious. Yeah, no, my core cool memory of the three weeks I spent there was just like getting up every morning and being like, another breakfast, please. <laughs> delicious. Yum, yum. i got to tell you, there's no breakfast food that I like, but in like Asian countries, it's like, what's for breakfast? Well, like... I'm so sorry. What? Did an internet historian just say that he doesn't like breakfast food? Right, because he's a sensible human being. So can we move breakfast on Breakfast food is the... Come on, dude. Don't fucking embarrass me in front of all these people. Breakfast. It's a fi fine thing to say that breakfast is garbage. Breakfast food is top tier food! It's the worst of food, easily. No, it's not! Your hair really speaks volumes. Unlike its color, which does not. Breakfast food is okay. What's your favorite breakfast food? Look, okay, so internet historian, hear me out. Oh my right? gosh. Hear me out. So you said, you mentioned like coming to the States, right? And hanging out with us. <laughs> and like, I, I like missed it, but I'm like, I didn't miss it, right? Okay. Right. Like, okay, so I'm going to take you to breakfast. Is that what you want to do? He goes, I hate breakfast. You go, let me take you to breakfast and try. No, no, no. That's I'm literally gonna... like the let me change. I'm gay. Let me change your mind. You haven't no, met no, the right no, one no, yet. No, no, no. You just. <laughs> You haven't had the right one breakfast yet, bro. You haven't had the right breakfast, okay? Jesus Christ. Huevos rancheros? Bro, he doesn't like it. Duck and dude. chili on <laughs> rice with some green beans. Yeah, perfect. You're setting yourself up for the morning. Mm. You should be loading up. You, the biggest meal of the day should be in the morning. That's when That's I start I my you. morning. I have sausage, eggs, bacon, the whole nine yards. So I just get up and uh, cram my little gullet with food. I also <laughs> wonder whether it's like the cuisine that is in European and Western societies required so much preparation that there were only certain things that you could get done by breakfast time. Yes, I think in other countries, it's someone's job to get up really early and cook for like yeah. everyone yeah. else. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're trying to say. <laughs> it's that you didn't drive a tank in Cambodia because they park them all backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is a weird place to go. Excalibur, sword in the stone. What's the one that's found in a lake with a lake? That lady? is also Excalibur. <laughs> I think Excalibur. one of the stories is yeah. that when King Arthur dies, he just like tosses it in a lake. 
ah, no man can pull the sword from this stone. Mm. These strong men come along and they're pulling at it and smudging up the handle. <laughs> up comes Arthur. Oh, please. Oh, go on then, sir. Can I ever go on the swording the jig? <laughs> oh, we'll all be laughing at you, kid, but go on. I guess he lubes it up and oh, then he just pulls oh. it out. It's easy for him. That's the idea, isn't it? That means he gets to be mm. king, which is an interesting system of governance. <laughs> I reckon we should go back to whoever's the strongest gets to be the leader. I like that idea. Once in a while I, like I do see idea. someone who's kind of weak and pathetic and I think well, why do you get to be in charge I think it should be whoever's the strongest <laughs> or who's ever slept with the most women hey now you're thinking but how would you prove that you would slip with the most number of women in order to become the king I just like the idea that a guy would show up and just be like yeah I'm running for president and here is a list of 50 women you can call them up here's a few kids that look like me for proof. It's like a bad a list of reference <laughs> yeah. hey can I use you as a reference oh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> what, are you running for president? So instead of having a sex scandal, it would, mm. he would be like, yeah, it turns out he wasn't having that many affairs. Oh, no, he was loyal to his wife. Boo. What's going on? <laughs> Get him out of there. How hard is it to put a sword in a stone? That's a really good point. That would be much more difficult than pulling it out true. of the stone. True, yes. So the guy who put it in there, that should be the guy who's the king. Okay, what else we got for mystical weapons? Poseidon has a trident. Poseidon's trident's a good one. Ass. Yeah. So he can command he the sea with that, yeah. can't he? He can like, make the waves cool. move, make the fish fuck each other. <laughs> Something like that. Weirdo. If your trident mm. controls the ocean, what's the point of like the pointy bit? Like he's not using the trident as well as a weapon, right? Wait, what's the point of a trident? That's a good point. Yeah, actually, what has a trident got to do with a sea? <laughs> what is a trident? Is it used for catching yeah, fish? Yeah, I was gonna say it's good for fishing. I never thought about this. <laughs> dawns on them in real time? Is that what, a trident's real? Like, yeah, it's real. The three-pronged spear is used for spearfishing. No way. No okay. I guess it does make sense. If you're, like, going at a school of fish, you, you want as many prongs as you I can get. That. Yeah. I what love What you really that. want is a five-pronged spear, right? Because, you see, this is 2D. <laughs> Explain why it's five One better. Five. Than, no. Okay, hold on. Like it a goes four? down, like that. Yeah. And with you so far. <laughs> now, if you've got a spear mm. that goes like this, then, oh shit, I missed it. Or the fish was over here right. and so I missed it right. so what they're doing is they're making two more prongs right. nice. but that's only 2D right. what you really want is five oh, because yeah I mean that is I superior that also exists which is why I was confused I see what he's saying yeah that also exists the Greeks made one for sticking people in the tummy and then you turn it and rip their guts out cool huh just play the video. <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 wait. Let's do it. Play. Play. Play it. Three, two, one, play. Oh. I oh, think, no. in contrast to this extremely bloodthirsty and violent episode, we should walk through a meadow holding hands All right. into the sunset. Yeah, right. we'll do that for about three seconds until the yeah. editor gets bored. Yeah. No, all right. Outro. Right. First thing I'm going to do is fill in that moustache gap. No, stop it. I've got a permanent stop mark in one hand and I'm holding your head down with the other. Oh yeah, well I'm hacking the mainframe and um, I'm going to turn your webcam on. No, don't. <laughs> hey, everyone, he's a furry. He's wearing his fursuit now. <laughs> How about this, right? I'm going to be an unsuspecting victim and you are going to be an assassin. Brill. Okay. And if you manage to kill me then the episode ends. Otherwise <laughs> Otherwise, okay. I'm just going to keep rambling. Okay, well, I'm coming okay. up behind you with a plastic bag, manhunt style. Hey, no, I, you can't just walk into my house, so I keep the door locked. <laughs> That's why I kicked it in with my muscles. I heard that. Now I've run up to my panic room. I'm on the phone with the police. Don't worry, oh, the police are in my shit. pocket. Bribed the entire police. <laughs> it was easy. Now I'm going to put some C4 around the corners of your panic oh, room, and I'm going to blow this bitch up. Button press. I now open the door with my scythe and, <laughs> and I begin to sweep at your legs. Ah, swish, oh my God. swish. Now the hunter has become the hunter. Get away! I will swat your hand away and pull out a funky-looking knife. Oh no! It's oh, got like dog do on the end of it. <laughs> Get away! <laughs> All right. Get in your panic room. I'm now running up the stairs and doing a very difficult action for the editor to keep up with. Don't worry, I'll make it easier for you by flinging a shuriken into the back of your head. Yeah. I like the oh, idea okay. that I'm running away, right? In mid sentence. <laughs> We've got to end this episode, and I'm going to end it by ending you. Okay. I break down your door and I start throwing some shurikens at you. Ah, too late. 
I have picked up a wooden table and thought, 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 <laughs> Well that's okay Because that was just my distraction For my real plan Which is to <laughs> feed you, you this delicious so that- poisoned apple You cannot resist its juicy goodness I already had breakfast oh, <laughs> What did you eat? It was <laughs> some ducks, some sure chilli and some green beans From Cambodia God, That sounds yeah, that absolutely delicious yeah, I've re- Dude, It's so fucking hard to pin in a historian's brain down Him as a DM Is just the chaotic energy the world needs like, Make them exploding shurikens. <laughs> then he gets blown up. He, but he, you have to pre-think that. He already cut it off by going too fast. Really lost the appetite for murder. Would you instead like to hold hands and have a delicious Cambodian breakfast? That sounds lovely. Maybe <laughs> we could kill a cow as well, like you did in that Cambodia. That is not canon. Yeah, I know. It wasn't a cow, was it a child? <laughs> a small <laughs> Cambodian refugee. They had survived a much worse country and finally made it oh to Cambodia. <laughs> The place where they could finally prosper, but then they ended up in a hole, receiving the the bad end of a grenade from ordinary things. (laughs) This is rubbish. Let's try something else. Yeah. (laughs) Everyone, go to your computer right now. Type in tickets to Syria. Comma. What happens if I destroy my passport? How do I renounce my citizenship? How to buy ammo on deep slash dark web. How to smuggle cash on plane. Do x-rays detect LSD? They don't. Save you a goo. Wow. <laughs> hey. All right. All right. What's like a shitty version of Pablo Escobar? No outro this time. Video is over. Nice. What's that? There we go. Some weird recommended videos there. <laughs> well, which one do you want to watch? We should watch one of my videos on the main channel. I like watching myself and listening to myself. Yeah, me too. Mm. Is one of my videos in the recommended? No? Oh, no. that's fine. Doesn't matter. No, I haven't watched your videos in ages. No. Is it just me? Um, or do you also have like tremendous contempt for the audience I hate them can't stand them <laughs> like I I hate the fans they're the worst yeah, I want to fuck. turn a weapon on them and then onto myself I just they're going to steal them. it as oh. a fucking soundbite and I'm going to have to explain it in 10 years they ramble for another 2 minutes I will listen to that uh, on my own time uh, but we've been shooting this video now for probably an hour over an hour I enjoyed it well over an hour I still enjoy it. I mean, it's fine. I don't mind being here for an hour. Internet historian's shit. worth an hour of my time. It's worth it for me. And so I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, <sighs> I was what? satisfied with their discussion on Weapons Web. So Ren Fair is coming back this year. Yeah, it is. We're going. <laughs> right. I'm vaccinated. What the fuck? I'm, what the fuck I got vaccinated for it. I do shit. So what weapon are we hoping to acquire? Spears. I want a mace. On a morning star. Yeah. If they have one, I want it. I've never seen one made, made before. Little spiky bits are really hard to make. I'm pretty sure you have to make a mace out of one solid thing and then mold the little bits on, right? I don't know. I think that's how they're made, I thought. But if there's one available, I'm buying it. Yeah. Hey, I don't know what I want to buy this year, actually, though, from the river. We usually pick one thing. Mm hmm. Because the stuff is really expensive there and it just doesn't make sense to buy everything. Of course, the meat pies, we never have gotten one. We never make it. We never make it in time for meat pies. So obviously until um, we get there for that, I want that. And I don't know what thing I want to buy for real though. Think about it. We'll figure it out. We already have our cloaks. We got our cloaks. We have staffs, staves. staves. I think plural staff is staves. Yeah, so it is, it's uh, an infection, just kidding. A stave infection, not a stab infection. <laughs> I have my corset finally. Got gotcha. you. Nice, got yeah, corset. nice corset. You need to get your hat. That's what it. That's what I need. Handmade leather hat. That's what we're gonna do. That's it. That is what I need. Yep. Well. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Weapons? Stay strapped. Yeah. With knives, not guns. Yeah. Seriously, like imagine somebody tries to rob you and you stab them in the stomach. It's a. It's the, it's the end. Now you gotta be careful because once it gets bloody, this part gets wet yeah. and wants to slide. It gets real slippery. So you worry about your grip there when you go to yank it back out, you know? So it, it might get stuck in there. If you have to leave it, leave it. It's fine. This sheet smells weird. Careful, put it up to your nose because it might, uh, I haven't checked it out, so. It's good. Smell yeah. it. Um, I think I'm okay. <laughs> so. No, I'm serious. Just smell I, it. I was also serious. Why does it smell <laughs> like that? <laughs> I told you. Fucking smells weird. Just rub the fucking thing in the face. Smell it! So anyways, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Peace.